of Muslim communities. Mr. President, distinguished members of the Human Rights Council, Excellencies, I thank you for con convening this special session of the Human Rights Council on Iraq and giving the World Federation of KSIMC the opportunity to speak today. The World Federation of KSIMC strongly condemns the crimes, of, the crimes conducted by the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and associated armed groups who have seized large parts of Anbar, Nainoa, Salah al-Din, and the Yala governorates. The World Federation of KSIMC was founded over 30 years ago, and our practice is based on the principles of the Shia faith. The, today we have over 150,000 community members worldwide and run projects in over 20 countries worldwide. Alongside serving our constituent members, the World Federation of KSIMC also actively works in the areas of international relief and development. At the inception of the current crisis, the World Federation of KSIMC began its work in the provision of emergency relief in Iraq, including conducting rapid needs assessments of the needs of internally displaced people across Iraq. The rapid needs assessments highlighted the need for greater emergency relief across the south of Iraq. The south of Iraq currently hosts approximately 200,000 of the most vulnerable internally displaced people who face being displaced for a second time. Rapid needs assessments indicate the current temporary housing solution will result in the spread of disease, which will result in a fatality of 10% of the people residing on the roads between Najaf, Karbala, and Basra. Currently, many IDPs have taken shelter in mosques, religious centers, churches, and open plan areas where families live in cramped spaces. These spaces were only designed to host people for a short period of time and are ill-equipped to host large numbers of people. Christian, Yazidi, Turkmen, Shabak, Kakai, and Kakai, Sabayan, and Shia communities have been targeted throughout through particularly brutal persecution as ISIL has ruthlessly carried out what, what may amount to ethnic and religious cleansing in areas under its control. This has been further this has placed further pressure of IDP camps and highlighted the need for massively increased focus on provision of IDPs in Iraq. This is not a long-term solution, but a vital step must prevent... Thank you very much.